This is part 27 of JavaScript tutorial. In this video, we'll understand closures in JavaScript with an example. So what's a closure? A closure is an inner function that has access to the outer function's variables in addition to its own variables and global variables. The inner function has access not only to the outer function's variables but also to the outer function's parameters. You create a closure by adding a function inside another function. So anytime you have nested functions, you have got a closure there. Let's look at an example. Let's create a function. Let's name it add numbers. And this function is going to have two parameters, first number and second number. And inside this function, let's create a variable. Let's name it return value. And let's initialize that with the string. Result is. And inside this function, I'm going to have another function. And let's name it add. And this function is going to return return value variable by concatenating that with the sum of first number and second number. Now notice that we have got a function inside another function. So this is our inner function and this is our outer function. Remember, inner function will have access to the outer function parameters and variables. So in this example, add function will have access to return value variable that is present in this outer function and its parameters, first number and second number. And then the outer function is going to call the inner function that is add. So here we have a very simple example for closure. Now let's see how to invoke this add numbers function. So I'm going to create a variable here. Let's call it result. And then let's call add numbers function. And this function expects two parameters, first number, second number. Let's pass 10 and 20 as the values. And then whatever result we get, let's write that to the page. So now when we run this, we expect result is 30 output. So what's happening here? So when we call add numbers function, it executes you know, the code that's present in the outer function. So it's going to initialize this return value variable with the string. And then it calls add function. And what is add function doing? It's concatenating the string result is with the sum of first and second number. Okay, So that's why we get result is 30 as the output. Now let's remove the set of parentheses that we have here and see what's going to happen. Let's run this page. And notice what we get. We get the inner function expression. So here we have the inner function add. Look at that. You know, we get the entire inner function definition. Okay, that's because we removed the parentheses. So here the outer function is going to execute this line of code. And then it's going to return the inner function expression. Okay, and that is assigned now to result variable. Let's actually change the name of the variable to my func. So at the moment, this my func is having the inner function expression. In addition to that, this inner function expression at the moment will also have access to this variable return value and its two parameters, first number and second number. Okay, now when we use parenthesis here, it's going to execute the inner function expression. And at that point, this inner function will have access to return value and first and second number parameters. And whatever result we get back, let's store that in result variable. And we are writing that to the page. So now when we run this, we get the same output. Result is 30. Now, we can you know, we know that this add numbers function here is going to return the inner function expression. So in this variable, we actually have inner function expression. Now, if I include another pair of parentheses here, this will execute the inner function expression. That means we will get the result straight away here. So we can do this as well. So now when we run this, we get the same output that is result is 30. Now, if 
Closures are still confusing. Don't worry. In our next video, we'll look at another practical example and that should make everything clear. So here we removed the pair of parentheses, so it's actually going to return the inner function expression. And we are storing that in this add func um, variable. And in order to execute the inner function expression, we are using parentheses at the end of that variable. And here we're including this additional set of parentheses next to add numbers function, which is going to execute the inner function expression. Thank you for listening and have a great day.